These five AI tools that I will share with you in this video will not only help you to save anywhere from like five to 10 hours of work every week, but most important of all, they will also put you ahead of like 98% of people on this planet. Because let's be honest, there are only two types of people. Those who believe that AI will come and take their job and those who actually use AI to get their job done faster. And unfortunately, I do believe that majority of people are in this first category, which is also very normal. It's human nature to be afraid of change, to be afraid of something new. So without further ado, let's get into the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have many more cool videos coming up. Circleback. Circleback is like your personal AI assistant that takes notes for you. And for me personally, it has been such a game changer because I find it really difficult to focus in a meeting, be fully present, participate, and then take notes at the same time. And you know what happens when you don't take notes? You forget things because that's, again, human nature. We think we'll remember, but we don't. We forget. Also, another thing that as human beings, we do a lot. We think that we can multitask, but the reality is that no, we cannot. Or yes, if you're watching Netflix and doing your nails, like, yeah, you can multitask. But if you are in a serious work environment, having a tool like Circleback, which records, transcribes, and then summarize your meetings, and it can do it with both in-person meetings and online meetings, is such a huge help. Because it basically means that you don't have to waste your time during the meeting and after the meeting on either making notes or remembering and figuring out who is supposed to do what, it's a tool that we use a lot here at Photo Room, and after a meeting, you just get an email with all the notes, with action points, and for me, it helps me so much to save time. You know that apparently the average person wastes up to like 26 hours every year, which translates to like 32 days. Like imagine what we could do with 32 more days that we waste on like useless things, like making notes or remembering who is supposed to do what, right? Flora, okay, this one might be a little silly, but hear me out before you judge me. Do you know what's the number one killer of productivity these days? This bad boy or bad girl. Yeah, my phone is probably a girl. Your phone, right? We reach for our phone, we scroll on social media. So Flora is an AI app that provides a solution to this problem. Basically what Flora is, is a modern day adaptation to the traditional Pomodoro technique. If you don't know what Pomodoro technique is, it's basically like time management technique, which uses kitchen timer to break work into intervals. So you work for 25 minutes and then and you take five minutes break. And the whole point is that during these 25 minutes, you're supposed to be focused on work. No phone break, no bathroom break, no nothing, right? Just work. However, who owns a kitchen timer these days? Like I don't, right? So what do I do? I use my phone. And what do I do when I start using my phone? I scroll, I go on social media, I check emails, like you do all these things. I waste so much of my precious time, but what Flora does is that it grows a tree. Yes, like a virtual tree. When you turn it on, a tree is growing and it takes 25 minutes for the tree to grow. So if you reach for your phone, if you scroll social media, the tree will die. And who wants a tree to die? Nobody. And I know it's silly, but at the same time, it really does help. Like try it out and let me know if it worked for you. But for me, every time I want to reach for my phone and trust me, we do reach for that bed girl slash bed boy more often than we would like to admit. And I see that tree growing. I'm like, okay, it's only like 15 more minutes. I'll let the tree grow instead of like scrolling on Instagram now, right? And also I think the key is to to make the work intervals like really short. You, you can set your own time on Flora, but I like to make it 25 and then five minutes break because uh, whenever I don't feel like working and I set it on 25 minutes, I'm like, okay, it's only 25. I can work for 25 minutes, that's nothing. And once you get into it, it's easier. And a lot of the time I actually end up working longer, but it, it, the starting point, that's the, that's the difficult part. Once you get the ball rolling, the ball is rolling. <laughs> Photo room. As a content creator, I take a lot of picture and I use batch mode on Photo Room to save up time and edit all my pictures at the same time. So in Photo Room, you can edit up to 50 pictures 
at the same time. So for example, the other day, we're taking pictures of our new merch and I had a lot of pictures. So instead of going and editing each one individually, I just use batch mode to edit them all at the same time. And another cool thing that you can do on photo room is that you can leave comments to your team members. I work a lot with Jan, our editor. So when I took the pictures, I can leave the comment with my opinion and I'm a very opinionated person. So I leave a lot of comments to let him know like how I would like to edit the pictures and vice versa. Jan can also let me know how he would like to edit the pictures. So it's all very easy to get it done in one place instead of like sending emails or talking on Slack. And the most time consuming thing when you take product shots is finding suitable location, suitable background, which you don't need to do anymore because if you use AI backgrounds, it doesn't matter where you take your picture, right? Do you remember the old good days are not so good when AI was still not a thing and we had to buy like fake marble countertops for product shots? Well, we don't need to do that anymore, thank God. Ask book. Okay, so this might be a bit controversial, but I don't know, let me know. What do you think? You're welcome to roast me in the comment section down below if you think I'm a lamer. Anyways, this is something that I've discovered recently and I've been using it like almost every day on the Metro. One of the biggest pain points of my life is the fact that I've been not reading enough. I don't read. Actually, I'm not, I don't read at all. Let's be honest, I don't read at all. And I know what you might be thinking. Well, just read a book then instead of using fancy AI tools. But I mean, I could also say the same with like, just stop eating sugar or just start working out five times a week. It's easier said than done. So basically the way it works is that you pick a book. For example, I always really wanted to read Atomic Habits. And what do you do? You can either choose one of the existing questions or you can just ask your own questions. So I asked like, what is the best way to form a new habit? The AI analyzes, reads the book and gives you the answer from the book. I actually found out about this tool the other day on the Metro when I was thinking about one of my favorite books, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F and one of my favorite stories in the book was the story about how Mark Manson, who wrote the book, discovered what his true passion is. He basically shared this little story about how he realized that you discover your real passion in life when you know that you love the process and not the outcome. But I couldn't like really remember the story. So what I did is that I went on Ask Book and I asked, how did you realize that being a rock star was not your real dream? And it gave me a whole summary of that part of the book. And honestly, is this not a better use of my time on the Metro than scrolling social media, right? Like at least I can, you know, give some food for my brain. Perplexity AI and chat GPT. Those two are super useful tools. So the difference between these two is that perplexity is a question answering tool that focuses on factual information and reliable sources. And chat GPT is more of a conversational tool. Chat GPT is imitating conversation with an actual human, but if you need actual precise more reliable, slightly more reliable information. Perplexity AI is the tool to use. And I know that these tools have been getting more and more popular these days, but at the same time, I still think that people don't realize how much we can get out of them, how often we can use it. And it doesn't have to be anything serious. Like the other day I was looking for a good bakery in Paris. So I asked Perplexity AI, can you give me recommendation for five best bakeries in Paris? It shows the rating, it shows the location, or maybe you're planning a trip to Italy. Just ask Ask ChatGPT to plan your trip for you. It can do it in five seconds and you save yourself like hours of research time. Or maybe you're writing an email to your manager and you're not a native speaker like myself. I'm literally not a native speaker of any language. So when I write an email and I really want to sound like professional and smart, and then I ask ChatGPT to make it sound more businessy or more professional, or I ask it to change the tone, I say, make it professional, but also make me sound natural and casual. And ChatGP can do that for you. You don't have to waste your own time. AI tools can really help you to boost your productivity, boost your creativity, and 
do the tasks for us that we don't want to do ourselves, right? Like if you haven't seen our last video, we made a video where we showed you how we made a brand, a whole brand from scratch using AI and the estimation value of this brand was $13 million. So it's definitely worth to see. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to share more about the magic of AI and why you shouldn't be scared of it, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll hopefully see you soon.